Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner and welcome to the arena. Okay, so last time um, the priest run was terrible. So let's see what we get um, this time around. Uh, this time I'll be using something that I just found out exists. A website called arenavalue.com. You can go and check it out. Uh, it's basically... It helps you... Well, it it's like an arena tier list. I think it has data from uh, several tier lists and it... Uh, well, depending on the three cards you get in your class, it calculates... Um, the card with the best value that you should pick. The um, it helps you with the mana curve. It um, a card has a higher value if you have something else that that can combo with it. That kind of stuff. So, pretty handy guide if you're especially new to arena, or if you have a particular tricky choice. Uh, you can also save your deck with it. So when you're playing, you can actually see the probabilities of the of drawing a certain card. So let's see. We have Warlock, Druid, or Paladin. I think I'll go with the Paladin. I will fight with honor. Okay, so I'll be using this site. So the draft might be a little slow because I'll be typing. So we have an Injured, Blade Master. Emperor Cobra or an Angry Chick. So currently I have these three cards and oh uh, just so you know I'll be using the best cards from the arena value just to try it out see how good of an application it is. So Injured Blade Master has a value of 68 which is good Cobra has 66 and Angry Chicken has 20, so we'll be going with the Blade Master. Then Mad Bomber, Tide Hunter, or Owl. In um in this situation, I would pick the Mad Bomber. Let's see what it says. So Mad Bomber, Tide Hunter, and Owl. So we have Mad Bomber 71, Tide Hunter 31, and Owl 39. So, Mad Bomber it is. Here, I believe the obvious choice would be Guardian of Kings. So, let's see. Guardian of Kings and Elven Archer. Yeah, Guardian of Kings with 69. Better than the other two. War Golem, Dragonling or Wolf Rider. Usually, let's see, we have a Guardian of Kings, which is a late game card. So I might be tempted to go, I might be tempted to go with the Dragonling mechanic. But since we're using Arena Value, let's see. War Golem with 58, Dragonling with 45, and Wolf Rider with 45. It's actually telling me to pick the War Golem. All right. We're testing this out anyway, so... Okay, here I will go with the Blessing of Kings. Let's see... We have the Shattered Sun Cleric with 87. Valued quite highly. Blessing of Kings... Oh, 67. Not as high as I thought. An Argent Squire with 43. So, I guess I'll take the Shattered Sun Cleric. Zelleran Mage with 31. Um, Redemption with 33. And Humility with 37. Which is probably the card I'd pick. I think it's way more useful than these two. Especially this one since um, I can't trigger secrets in my turn anymore. So Humility. Holy Wrath, Mana Addict, Violet Teacher. I think Violet Teacher wins. So, Holy Wrath, 42. Mana Addict, 36. And Violet Teacher with 70. 
So Violet Teacher. Lights Justice, Repentance, or Youthful Brewmaster. I think I would take the Brewmaster, but let's see. Lights Justice. Was it Redemption? Yeah, no, re Repentance. I always mix those two names. So Repentance, uh, Lights Justice is uh, 40, Repentance is 29, and the Youthful Brewmaster is 75. Okay, here I would take the Hammer of Wrath, so Eye for an Eye, 25, Hammer of Wrath, 86, or Blue Gill Warrior, 51. So Hammer of Wrath. Ooh, I think the Twilight, Twilight Drake might be a better card here. So let's see. Mind Control Tech, 83. Twilight Drake, 89. Young Priestess, 33. So Twilight Drake. Although I quite like the Mind Control Tech for Arenas. Well, and for Construct too. It's, uh, no one ever expects it. Okay, here, Blessing of Kings, I believe. So, Holy Light. 29. Cobalt Geomancer. 48. And um, Blessing of Kings. 67. So before I continue, uh, these values are um, that I'm saying. Um, you enter arena value, you pick your class, and you then you have you can pick three cards. You pick the cards that are presented to you in the game, and then it tells you a value, a numerical value. And uh, the highest is calculate. Well, the value is calculated based on your mana curve, uh, the quality of the cards, and uh, combos and that kind of stuff. So, for example, if I would pick two Scarlet Crusaders in a row, the value might be different, because I would have an extra three already when I picked the second one. So, the second one might be valued a bit lower. Just so you know what these numbers mean. Um, Repentance, Scarlet Crusader, Jungle Panther. I believe a Scarlet Crusader is in order. So, Repentance, 29. Scarlet Crusader 88 or Jungle Panther 61. So Scarlet Crusader. Mad Bomber, Worgen Infiltrator, Leper Gnome. I think the Mad Bomber, a second one, would be quite good. So Mad Bomber 78. Worgen Infiltrator 74. Or a Leper Gnome 30. So, second Mad Bomber it is. Here I would take the No Mission Venter. So, Goldshire Footman, 22. No Mission Venter, 88. Or an Iron Fur Grizzly, 54. So, No Mission Venter. Maybe a second Blessing of Kings. Or the Brewmaster. Let's see, we don't have we only have three minions in the four slots, so Brewmaster might be good here. But let's see. Blessing of Kings, 62. Ancient Brewmaster 62. And the Goldshire Footman. 22. Uh, let me see. What would be best? They are tied Blessing of Kings and Brewmaster at 62. So I'll just go with my personal preference. I quite like Blessing of Kings because it, when you put a minion down, um, well, they can immediately take care of it for one. But if it's a weak minion, they might let it go and then next turn Blessing of Kings to their face or to something else. Although, these two minions, the Violet Teacher and No Mission Venter, don't have 
Very high attack. But this has 4 health. I usually don't like, well, except for the Nomish Inventor, but 4 health minions. Eh, I'm not really a fan of. I'd prefer it if it um, if the stats were reversed, like a Yeti. Let's go with the Blessing of Kings, although the Bounce could be cool. What can I bounce? I could bounce a Guardian of Kings, but uh, too expensive to do in the same turn. I could bounce a Cleric. Uh, but I already, already have a Brewmaster for that purpose, so let's go with the second Blessing of Kings. Let's see, here I take a Scarlet Crusader, so let's see. Noble Sacrifice, 42, Scarlet Crusader, 87, or the Worgen Infiltrator at 74. So Scarlet Crusader it is. Mad Bomber, Dark Scale Healer, or a Thralmar Farseer. Here I would probably take the Dark Scale Healer. We don't have any fives yet. So let's see. Mad Bomber, 71. Dark Scale Healer at 67. And Thralmar Farseer at 30. Okay, I guess we'll take a third Mad Bomber. Although I usually wouldn't do this. But this time around we are following Arena Valium blindly. Loot Hoarder, Hand of Protection, or Earthen Ring Farseer. Let's see. I think I would take the Farseer in this case. With three Mad Bombers. Uh, this would be hard to play. Because they can just bomb it. So I think this might be better. Hand of Protection is also quite nice too, but uh, I prefer an Argent Protector for the Divine Shield roll. So let's see. Loot Hoarder. 69. Hand of Protection. 35. Earthen Ring. 79. Okay, so I was right this time. Well, um, Arena Valley was right, it coincided with my opinion. Uh, Booty Bay Bodyguards, Eye for an Eye, Raging Worgen. In regular circumstances, I would take the Worgen. Oh, it could also be a very good combo with the Blessing of Kings. But uh, you don't have any fives. You have these two slots here with nothing. So I might take the Booty Bay Bodyguards. Although the Raging Worgen is still better. Let's see, Booty Bay, 43. Uh, what was the other one? Eye for an Eye. Eye for an Eye, 25. I think the Wargon will still win. Yep, with 69. Okay, here, Neldor Peacekeeper, of course. Although this is... I did a Paladin run once, and this was actually very useful. Won me a few games. So, Blessed Champion at 40, an Injured Blade Master at 70, and an Eldor Peacekeeper at the staggering 86. Ah, an Argent Protector. And a Shield Master. Oh, this, is, this could be quite close. I think I would take the Protector. Because the Divine Shields help my uh, minions train a lot better. But the Shield Master is also a reliable taunt. So let's see. Shield Master at 86. Tauren Warrior at 30. And the Argent Protector at 81. Okay, I'll take the Shield Master. Since we do have a lot of early game already. A lot of twos. Well, four twos. A lot of threes, too. Okay. Ah, true silver champion, of course. Let's see. Magma Rager, 22. Thralmar Farseer, 27. True silver champion at 76. Very good weapon. 
Ooh, Peacekeeper or Kodo. Peace Peacekeeper is a very good card. But the Kodo is also pretty good. And they can, also, they can actually combo together. I can Peacekeeper a big minion and play this and it's gone. And we have one Peacekeeper already. Uh, but let's see. Pint Sized Summoner 39. Eldor Peacekeeper 86. And Stampeding Kodo at 107. Okay, Kodo. Here I'll take a Frostwolf Warlords. Pretty sure that's uh, what the result will be. Lights Justice. Stone Tusk Boar. Uh, Lights Justice is uh, 40. The Boar is 20. And the Frostwolf Warlords is 90. Cult Master, Venture Co. or Hand of Protection. I'm actually divided between these two. We have a lot of uh, early game and plus our hero ability. This might be very good to draw cards. And I don't think we have any... Well, we have no mission inventor and that's it. But this is actually quite powerful. And then we have the Hand of Protection. Let's see. What will this say? So, Cult Master at 85, quite, quite high, Venture Co. at 88, and the Hand of Protection at 35. So, I'll take the Venture Co. Snapjaw, Archmage, or Fairy Dragon. Let's see, the only spell we have that benefits from spell damage is Hammer of Wrath. I think it benefits from damage, spell damage, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Then we have Fairy Dragon, which is a pretty good two. And the Snapjaw, which is uh, kind of meh. Even though we have no sixes, I might, I might consider the Fairy Dragon. Although the Archmage, well, it could be a lot better. It's not. Uh, not quite up to par with an ogre, for example, a boulder fist ogre. But it still can take uh, quite a bit of punishment. So Oasis Snapjaw at 48, Archmage at 45, and Fairy Dragon at 69. So I'll take Fairy Dragon. Acolyte of Pain, Mogushan Warden, or Light's Justice. I think I might take. One of these two, well, or this, this can actually be very useful against uh, early game minions or against another paladin with the hero ability. But the Acolyte of Pain, yeah, I could use some more card draw. Let's see, Acolyte of Pain, 51. The Mogushan Warden at 39. And the Light's Justice at 40. So another Acolyte. Um, the first Acolyte, but another three. Logushan Warden, Argent Squire, or River Crocolisk? I think I would take the Argent Squire. We have a lot of twos already, and no one, so the Argent Squire might be a good choice. Mogushan Warden, uh, the Sentient Shield Master is a lot better. Let's see. Mogushan is 39. Argent Squire is 46, and the River Crocolisk is 34. So, an, an Argent Squire. Ooh, third Blessing of Kings. Might be useful since we, have, we haven't drawn a single Consecration. This could be quite good too, to buff some minions, like an Argent Squire, for example. Play Arden Squire turn 1, Direwolf Alpha turn 2, and uh, the Arden Squire can probably kill the enemies 2 drop, so could be pretty cool. So Repentance, 29, Direwolf Alpha, 53, or a third Blessing of Kings, 29. I guess 2 are enough, so Direwolf Alpha. Oh, Deja Vu. 
Emperor Cobra, Eldor Peacekeeper or Stampeding Kodo. Well, this is awkward, so... Cobra with 49. Eldor Peacekeeper with 66. I think the Kodo will win. And Kodo with 93. Yeah, Kodo wins. We don't have many fives. Well, I have a couple of them, but... Uh, this deck is more slanted towards early game. So Kodo might come in handy. And we already have one Peacekeeper and one Humility. So we already have ways to... Um, um, disable a creature. So I'll take the Kodo. Alright, so this is our deck. Drafted using Arena Value. And we'll see how it handles. Uther versus Jaina. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Okay, so first games against the mage. Let me keep the war again. Let's see what else we get. Not bad. Okay, let's not do anything. I think I'll play the Worgen next turn. Maybe set up a... Okay, probably not. Let's use the Bomber. Come on, Bomber. Well, close. Unfortunately, I cannot deal one damage to that. I might go with Scarlet Crusader. Or I could kill the Acolyte and then heal the Bomber. I kind of waste the heal a bit, but. That way he won't be able to use his hero power to draw more cards with the Acolytes. He gets just the one. Water Elemental. Okay, I can take care of that. The question is... Do I Hammer of Wrath, or do I True Silver Champion? If I use True Silver Champion, I'll be frozen, and I won't be able to attack next turn. If I use this, I won't be frozen, I'll now be able to use this next turn again. I think I'll go with the Hammer. That way I'm free to use my True Silver Champion next turn. Which is my only True Silver Champion. Ah, another one. How lovely. Ooh, if I had... An Eldor Peacekeep... If I had my Humility... It would be very nice. Let's uh, use my No Mission Venter. Twilight Drake? Oh, that's not a bad card here. I have a lot of them, but I can't use it yet. Let's see, next turn Twilight and Direwolf. I think so. Another. That's the third one. I think I'll do this and a Tire Wolf. So I'm not that vulnerable to Flame Strike.
So let's see, the wolf is probably dead. Ah, fireball. Whoops. Not sure what that whoops was. But okay. Ooh, Mad Bomber. I'll even play an Acolyte of Pain. That might be good. That'll decrease my chances, but I might get a card. Uh, that's good enough. Didn't hit the Acolyte, but it killed one of those guys like it was supposed to. So it's pretty good Bomber. Pretty good. Reckless rocket, Rocketeer. Oh, to kill the Acolyte. Okay. Another Bomber. Come on, Bomber. There we go. That's a good Bomber. And I think... Do I Scarlet Worgen? Eh... It's a bit vulnerable to flame strike, especially since she can um, ping this first. I might venture co. Yeah, yeah, you've gotta be kidding me! Frost Nova. Guess that works. And a nice lance. And the Yeti. In the mirror image. Well, that's annoying. Ah, I got my humility. Unfortunately, I can kill those two. I think I'll just use the True Silver Champion to kill one of those. Ah, but I need to put more minions up. Let's get this one. Let's see what happens. Ah, there's a flame strike. No? Ogre. Okay, that works. And what else? Okay, she killed that. That's good for me. I can easily remove the ogre now. Okay, she's pinging that one. Frost will four lords. Uh, let me see. I use humility and this one six coin. Eleven. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, you got it. Now I got a 7-7. Seven, seven. Not bad. And only one thing dies to flame strike. Well, two with the uh, fire blast. So we're in a good position. Okay, that's getting polymorphed. Unfortunate. And we throw a Taz Dingo. This is good enough for now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, Venture Co. Oh, I would love an Eldor Peacekeeper now. Oh, 
But I didn't get one. Reporting for duty. For the crusade! Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll just do this. Just attack. Should I use the sword? I don't need to. Let's see, if a flame strike happens, these two will die. This will be vulnerable. One more mana kills this, and this kills that. I'll have six damage. Yeah, I think I have lethal anyways. Unless I'm unless I'm wrong. Or that can happen too. No, I still have it. Or do I? Was that the flame strike? Frostbolt. Oh, I have it. To battle! To battle! For justice! Well played! True Silver Champion to save the day and the Blessing of Kings. Uther versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Okay, got some Paladin on Paladin action. Let's discard the Blessing, keep the rest. How's it go? Not bad. Can't do anything. We got a bomber, nice. Let's start with the fairy dragon. Oh, coin. Into what? A demolisher. I hate demolishers. Uh, but I can only kill it if the bomber hits it once. So play Scarlet Crusader. I think that's good enough. Let me think. For the crusade! We'll hit it. It would have died anyway if I didn't hit it and if uh, the demolisher had come through for him. Why they're a bomber? <laughs> but no, I don't. Let's go with the uh, Shieldmaster. Now, do I sacrifice the Fairy Dragon? Or do I remove the shield from the Crusader? If I remove the shield, two of my guys will die from a consecration. Hmm. If I don't remove the shield, then they will stay alive. Um, the Crusader will stay alive. So, yeah, let's do this. That's a creation. The cards I would not mind having. Frostwolf for Lords. And let's. Kill this guy. That way he's not able to kill the Taz Dingo. Unless he pulls a weapon or um, another silence for the yeah for the frost wolf.
Ooh, Twilight Trick. Also very nice for a bomber here. But it'll probably hit the Crusader. So I'll probably use the Crusader to kill something. Let's kill this. Let's see. Um, if I use the Frost Wolf, too many things will die to a consecration. I might actually use the Taz Dingo. I'm playing around consecration, I don't even know if he has one. I could have played the Twilight Trick before the Bomber, but. Bit of a risk. Ah, he had it. Okay, so I did the right thing. Drink with me, friend. Another bomber. Starting to be. Hmm. Yeah, it's not worth it over here. Um. I think I'll play mercenary and uh, hero ability. I'll kill this guy, in case he has another Consecration. And he does. So it's a good thing I killed that. Ooh, we got the Worgen Bomber combo. I'll play an Acolyte of Pain. pain speak to me. Could use some extra cards. And he can't kill the Venture Co. with that guy alone. Okay, so I can get it. No, I can't. I got one. Have a lot of bombers. I can heal. That could be a good option. I could heal the Venture Co. I wonder. But then what? Alternatively, I could kill the Venture Co with the 4-4. Use my 1-1 one, one to deal 1 damage to the 3-2 and then play a lot of bombers and hope they hit. I wonder. Because if I heal this, then I can't play anything else. Okay. Battle. Come on, bomber. Do your thing. Not bad. Bomber number two. Almost perfect. Heal and hero ability. Almost perfect bombers. Almost perfect. Consec another consecration. He has three. God damn it! And I don't have a single one. Well, now, now I know where all of them went. I think I'll do this. And I'll humility this guy just in case. Reporting for duty. I'm out of cards. This is not great. I usually don't like um, buffing one of my units when I immediately play it, but in this case I need to put uh, some pressure on him. Reporting for duty. 
Ogre. I can actually kill the ogre. I see this enrages for a uh, plus one attack. Let's kill the ogre. Do I want to use this? Because this will die to that one one. Drink with me, friend. Let's hope he doesn't have a fourth consecration. Or a hammer of wrath or something like that. Guardian of Kings. That's not. That's not bad, actually. Oh, he didn't attack my 3 2. Why not? I can deal 7 damage. And I have my own Guardian of Kings. Two damage left, and I still have my two silver champion and my hammer of wrath. He can kill my guardian of kings. Oh, blessing of kings on that guy. Okay. I think I still have another blessing too. For the crusade! I have my hammer of wrath in here somewhere. Or did I use it already? No, I didn't. And my true silver champion, so I'll go ahead and do this. Let's hope he doesn't heal again. War Golem. This is starting to take a turn for the worse. Oh yeah. Come on, Hammer. It's Kodo. It's good too. Come on, Hammer, where are you? I need you. I need you so bad. I hear you got a oh, I need you. Really, really bad. I'm not dead yet because he needs to kill my creatures. Otherwise, he's in big trouble. If only I had a consecration. Direwolf Alpha. Oh, 14. Oh, I'm dead. Damn you, Hammer. Why must you taunt me so? Well played. Well played. Oh, and look who it is. God damn it. Not the best starting hand. And I do not have the coin either. Job's done. This might be bad. Do we need starting with the coin? 
Two fairy dragon, okay. This will be pinged immediately. Reporting for duty. As I expected, at least he didn't play another creature. So, Scarlet Crusader. Next turn, Twilight Trick. Okay, ping. In two. Probably will it. Oh, we didn't. Okay. I think if it was me, I might have attacked the enemy instead of the creature. Just because... Oh, Fireball, okay. Uh, bit worthless, but I'll play this. Yeah, I would have attacked myself just because I could have... I was forcing a trade. Because if he didn't kill the creature with the Crusader, then I could have just Fire Blasted it. The next turn. Oh, perfect. Well played. Kodo is a lot better than Hammer of Wrath. One shot. Because it shows up when it's needed. Hmm. Okay, that's preparing to kill that guy. So I think I will use Blessing of Kings on this guy. Okay. Didn't expect that. A lot of mages today. Again, not the greatest hand. I might keep the Twilight Drake. Oh, look who it is. Hammer of Wrath. I don't need you now. I don't. I needed you earlier and you abandoned me. I'm starting with a coin again. A money berserker. That's a bit worse than a fairy dragon. So, if I use my hero ability... He'll just kill it and be a 5-2. If I don't use my hero ability, he'll use his and it'll be a 5-2 and I'll take 5 damage. Hmm. So I believe by playing this, I will delay 5 damage this turn. Okay. Not what I expected. I could play the Injured Blade Master, but it'll die to this and the ping. It might not be that bad. Murder! The only way to heal it I have is my Earthen Ring Farseer. Oh, Frostbolt. And I could have only played that so on a uh, turn 6 to play both. Here's my Nomish Inventor, Scarlet Crusader, Hammer of... Oh, I can do this. That's right. That's why I kept him. Do you have a Fireball? No. Goddamn owls. Guess I'll do this. Goodbye, Hammer. And an Argent Squire. I still don't understand why that last guy just quits. I've never seen anyone so afraid of a Blessing of Kings. Oh, you have your own Twilight Trick. Unfortunately, I do not have a Silence. But I do have a Humility. 
Oh, if I only had a Kodo. Kind of room master. Okay, let's play No Mission Venter. Violet Teacher. Okay, let's kill this guy. I think I'll... Uh, it's only for damage. Let's actually do this. And draw another card next turn. Well, not really. Next turn I'll play Guardian of Kings. The card draw is always nice. Oh, I hate that thing. And miss hands. Okay, at least it didn't kill all of them. That's good. I think I'll play this. It can only die to both of them. Or one of them in a spell, or a fireball. Or a polymorph. That's right, I forgot that one. That works too. And it's starting to grow bigger. I could use humility, but uh, it won't kill him. Hmm. What to do? I'll draw cards. Warlord, I don't really need you. Get a Crusader, and I'll use Humility on this one. It can still become stronger, but uh, we'll have to kill more stuff to do it. Blizzards. God damn it. So he has 6 damage. There's nothing I can do to prevent it. So... The bomber time. And nothing. Okay. Guess I'll play a Frost Wolf. I could've played this earlier. Damn it, I forgot. Or this. I think I'm dead either way. Still, I don't think a 7-7 would save me anyways. Yeah, I, I was dead anyway. Damn you, flesh hitting ghoul. My arch nemesis. Hunter. So this will go either really well, or really, really bad. Keep the fairy dragon, ditch the rest. I can never get my Argent Squire for turn 1. It's amazing. Oh, War Golem. How useful. Fairy Dragon. Next turn I'll use my Scarlet Crusader. Come on, just use your hero ability. Come on. Ah, coin. Probably Animal Companion. Another damn demolisher. Well, I can deal with that. This time, oh, this is better. We must cleanse the sun well. Was going for the dire wolf. This uses all my mana and uh, buffs my guy. Oh, 
Okay, and meet the hounds. Not that's well, it's scary now. Okay, come on, Bomber, do your thing. All right. At least the wolf can't kill anything. Damn it, Bomber, why must you fail me too? Okay, still kills the panther. Play Violet Teach. Kill the wolf. Now the teacher won't die to the jungle panther, but it'll die to an explosive shot. Okay, it doesn't have one. And he didn't go for the teacher. Ah, hello, Kodo. Nice to see you. Luckily, I can always count on the Kodo. The Kodo always appears when I'm in danger. It's like a superhero. Next, do you have a high main? May my no, it's a torn warrior. Oh, the Emperor Cobra. Yeah, the Cobra must die. So let's kill this guy and use the teacher to kill the Cobra. And now I can play my War Golem. Yeah, the Golem seeing some action. For the first time. Oh, and I can even buff him with the Blessing of Kings. That'll be insane. Yes. Oh, Word in the Ring. Nice. Yeah, let's play this. This is not constructed. I don't need to be that fearful of Unleash the Hounds. And here comes an Unleash the Hounds. And the, and the goddamn Hyena. Oh, there's no Unleash. Well, then I'm not scared. Let's see. 3, 6, 13... 16, 20, 24. Really? Really, game? 6, 13, 16, 20, 24. One away from lethal. Okay, I'll just kill this and kill this. Now I have lethal for sure. Oh, King Crush! Well, I'm not that scared. Since I still have lethal. Oh, and look who it is. Look who shows up. Well, I'm not gonna use you, Hammer. I don't need you. Have my trusty True Silver. Oh, what a surprise! Another mage. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Oh, here's my Eldar peacekeeper. Almost forgot I had one. I haven't seen him yet. Okay, this is better. 
Still no Argent Squire in my opening hands. What a shame. Oh, here's the Kodo. Super Kodo to the rescue. Although I don't need him yet. Mana Worm. Which is weak to Fairy Dragon. Which is weak to Blue Guild Warrior. Go Bomber. A frost bolt. Okay, coin. Are you using the coin? Yeah, using the coin to kill that. Valid option. So, Twilight Red time. Now, do you have an owl? Yeah, that's. That works. Here comes the Venture Co. No target for the Kodo this time, unfortunately. Okay, doesn't appear to have a fireball. Let's see. If I kill this one, I'll be pinged next turn, or die to that. If I kill this one, I'll die to this and a ping. Hmm, choices. And I can't use my Kodo. Buff it. Buff it to 11, 9. But he might have a polymorph now. I think I'll just play this. And kill this guy. So if he wants to kill it this turn, he'll have to use his 1-1 one, one and spend 2 mana. Or do that too. God damn it, Blizzards. I always forget that spell exists. I can't Scarlet and Frostwolf, so I'll use Hero Ability and Frostwolf instead. This is not looking that great. Haven't dealt any damage yet. Might just go crazy with the Blessing of Kings. They'll never know what Ooh, Night Blades. Oh, trying to finish me off quickly. Unfortunately, I do not have a way to deal with both of them. I think I'm dead already. If she has a fireball, yeah, I'm dead with a fireball. We must cleanse the sun well. For the crusade! Reporting for I could really use a hammer of wrath right now. Yeah, I'm dead. Ah! 
Well, this was awful. Still better than the last run, though. Last run was just dreadful. Let's see if we can get anything good. Oh wow, Mirror Entity. Jump Master. I have all of these already. Okay. Still not a very good run. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.